I've got convictions for violent crime, violent gun crime. Um, you know, it's it's totally destroyed my life how it was, to be honest. I lost my job. Um, felt I'd lost all my credibility. When Linda Walker went out to confront a gang of youths who'd been threatening her family and attacking her home, the last thing she imagined was that she would be the one going to prison. But that's exactly what happened when she came out onto this road armed with an air pistol which she fired at the pavement to scare them off. And now, two years later, the government's announcing an urgent review of the law so that victims of crime and witnesses to crime can feel more confident about stepping in. I think they're frightened too. Lots of people wrote to me and lots of people had said that um, you know, they'd had experience in their family of people trying to stick up for someone who was being attacked or something like that and then they'd ended up getting into trouble. Would you ever step in and help? Um, depends if it's a child or elderly. I don't know really. I'd like to say yes, but probably would actually. I've done it. I've been there. That's how I got a scar under my eye. If you defend yourself and that person ends up injured or even badly seriously injured, then you yourself could be in trouble. As the law stands at the moment, you're allowed to use reasonable force to stop criminals. But when you've got just a split second to react, it can often be hard to judge what is or isn't reasonable force. It's not yet clear what changes will be made to the law, but the Justice Secretary, Jack Straw, insists they want to empower people to act responsibly but not recklessly. Ben Bland, Channel M News.